So, uh, Anna, you wanna complete? Um, yeah, uh, actually, Karada sent this question in, and she wants to know what uh, you think of the changes that have been made to the site recently. Well, I think they're good. I especially like the addition of more animation source sites, such as which uh, I now have a story on there as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wish they'd get a little more traffic than they do. Yeah, me too. I'm hoping that'll maybe pick up a little bit more as we start branching out and maybe talking to other people on different websites, letting them know, hey, there's this new addition to Animation Source. You should come over and check it out. <laughs> In fact, uh, I've been working on some... <coughs> Ideas, you may know Steve has set up a contest for different animation source site possibilities. Ah, yes, the uh, creating styles and the uh, graphic one, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, I'm working on some info, mostly character profiles, <laughs> for Redwall Source. Oh, interesting. And that's that been pretty good series. That's... Yeah. Sorry for cutting in. Sorry for cutting in on you like that, but that's actually really exciting. I've I've read through some of the books, and then that's. Well, that's they really have good. a cartoon series too, which is why it would qualify for animation source. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, as, as I've read. I've never i never actually heard of that series. Those uh, series. Yeah, it's well, um. We're, when we're done, I'll send you a link to the playlist for it on YouTube. Sure. It's Thanks. pretty interesting. I've actually never seen any of the animated series. I mean, I saw a clip of it when uh, I was in South Carolina with one of my friends, and she was flipping through channels, and she flipped through it, and I was like, hey, wait! And she was like, what? It was already passed. It's like, oh, it looked interesting. <laughs> from, what I've, from what I've read, as far as the uh, TV series goes, is that they were actually really good. Okay. At least from what I've read. Yeah. I'll definitely have I don't to look say that up. this often in TV series, but I think in some ways it was better than the book. Oh, huh. well, that definitely makes me interested now because I love the books. Yeah, I mean, uh, in uh, and not to spoil it too much for anyone, but one thing that really struck me was it, when I watched the cartoon series, the first season especially. There's a relationship between two characters, Matthias and Cornflower. Mm-hmm. And in the series, it was really entertaining to watch as initially they didn't really connect that well. A lot of times you would there was some friendly talk, yeah, but a lot of times they'd, they'd eat. They you'd see their personalities bouncing off each other. It was like Cornflower didn't know whether to hug him or hurt him. <laughs> that would <laughs> be uh, interesting to see. And, yeah. And then I looked at the uh, at the book, and I was like, oh, man, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just, yeah, it was just like, yeah, they're in love, big deal. Yeah, well, I suppose sometimes even animated uh, deri- uh, derivations of um, books and comics might surpass the original project product mm-hmm. in some ways. So. All right, yeah. and I had one extra question. Um, do you have any recommended reading for anybody out there in the audience? Well, Chronicles of Narnia comes to mind. Okay. And also... A bit more recent on the literary field is a series called Dragons in Our Midst. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I have I have read a little bit of the Narnia series. Haven't read it. Didn't actually get to finish it because uh, when I started reading the series, it was in fourth grade, I think, and uh, we read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe as a class sort of project. And then we were going to read the next one, but we had a substitute for the week, and it put us way behind, so our teacher was just like, no, we're just going to skip on to the next subject. Oh, like, bummer. Aww. <laughs> bummer. The, so, uh, as far as, yeah, I've never actually read the books. I've actually, I've only actually seen the movies, but because of the movies, I want to read the books. And I actually really like the second movie. Yeah, yeah. I, 
I, I really recommend the, uh, reading the books. They're great. Okay. Well, any last thoughts, comments, or questions for us? None that comes to mind. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. It's been great having you here with us on SourceCast. Thank you. All righty. Maybe. Yay! It did. Okay. All right. So what were you going to add on, DT? Well, one other thing about my writing, aside from methodology and all that, I really think it's just God at work. I mean, more than anything else, I think my writing is a gift from him, and I've been told that by a lot of people. I think it's just his way of rewarding me for using it in a way that honors him. Because more than anything else, the things I put in my stories are not just classic elements or classic virtues. They're his truths. Maybe not as directly communicated as what has been done in some other stories. And certainly not with as much skill as some other writers like C.S. Lewis, who I mentioned elsewhere, have done. But... Like they say, it's the effort that counts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty pretty much neg- as long as you're trying, it counts. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Was that it? Yeah, basically. Okay. 